being pushed to think differently about one's own research and what one assumes to know is the whole point of research to begin with. That is what innovation is, pushing the limits of what we think we know. So equity in research does just that. We have an accountability to the community. Um, the University of Alberta, as like any university and any um, top research institution, engages in research for the community. Equality is about accepting various individuals and groups as uh, essentially a gential equivalence, uh, seeing them as uh, at, at the risk of uh, using the exact word as equals, moral equals, ethical equals. This assumption that one size fits all and equality wins is that, is that assumption um, undergirded by an idea of universality or that everyone is already on an equal playing field. Everyone should be on an equal playing field and already is on an equal playing field. When I talk about this in terms of engineering about 20 years ago where we were is talking about equality, equality for equal pay as our male colleagues as females. Uh, we now know there's different gender types and sexual orientations that need consideration as well. Uh, but equality was coming in that way and asks there. Equal opportunity to, uh, for projects and promotion, those types of things. When we talk about equity, we recognize that not everyone begins from the same starting point. And that in order to ensure fair access and equal access, um, ensure the best outcomes for all. Some may need more than others. It also means that um, processes and procedures, uh, bureaucratic uh, uh, underpinnings of organizations and institutions are set up to recognize those differences uh, and to bridge those gaps, to know that everyone is not at the same level and in order to have anything that's uh, equivalent to an, uh, an, uh, an equal outcome would have to recognize where, where people are. So equity in research is important to consider because research is really at the heart of being free in your mind. What people bring as individuals to a research table is their own personal experiences. So if my experience as a First Nations Indigenous professional engineer um, adds value to the table. Someone who grew up in a different country, a different culture, a different environment will have equal value in bringing their experiences and what they have seen in the world in order to really flush out different perspectives of what an idea could be and what is feasible. Representation without deep uh, conversations around why those individuals are there to begin with what the benefit is, how to transform the structures, not only to say, you're allowed to come into my space, but to say, hey, let's collaborate and create this space together. That is indeed merely tokenism. Most of us choose to be on the sidelines. Um, we're not discriminating against this. I'm not discriminating against that. I'm just doing my job. And, and I look around and I have all uh, men of certain color in my team. But they're doing great and I'm publishing papers and, and, and doing what I need to do and life is good. I'm not discriminating against anyone so I'm not really um, part of the problem. Reality is uh, if you don't take proactive measures and be more engaged in making this you are part of the problem. That's how I see it. We, we have a, a responsibility uh, to the world around us, um, to academia and to our discipline, uh, to be very intentional uh, in ensuring equity in the way that we design our research. It's, it's important that we're mindful so that in, in a decade or two from now, what do you want your research used for? Um, is it to uh, maintain the world as is, uh, reinforce existing patterns of social inequalities, or do you want to be a forward-thinking, forward-looking researcher um, who pay, uh, does not merely pay lip service um, to social change? Uh, as scholars, uh, issues around equity must be at, at, at the back of our minds. And some would, in fact, say at the forefront of our minds, um, that uh, we're, we're mindful of 
the way we're relating with uh, uh, the, our research participants, uh, the kinds of questions we're asking them, what our questions are capable of doing to and with them, um, and of course that uh, a power asymmetry with our research participants, um, but also whether or not our, our research ends up producing findings uh, or drawing conclusions that empowers or disempowers uh, those, those those individuals so or, and, and communities. So for me, the, this would be um, equity uh, in, in research design. I think we can learn a lot from Indigenous studies, the discipline of Indigenous studies, uh, and particularly the focus of Indigenous studies on community-directed research. Uh, this is, you know, it's, it's not just about community-based research or community-engaged research. I think community-directed research, where communities are uh, leading the way, is, is such an important, um, there's such an important sort of base of knowledge there that we can turn to to understand how to do research differently, how to do it collaboratively, how to do it with community at the center, and how to do it in a way where the people who are most affected are actually leading the research that's happening. When you're building an equitable research team, you are really looking to ensure that um, it feels like a place where people can express themselves. Um, that identifiers aren't getting in the way. So that means really understanding the people who are part of it. Um, if people have different spiritual practices, having flexibility in time, uh, thinking about universal access design, um, not just in physical spaces, but even how people capture and share knowledge, language barriers, uh, inclusivity indicators like pronoun use, things like this. Um, it's, it's too easy to only reach out to those with whom we already have uh, some kind of rapport. Now, uh, and engaging a junior uh, colleague, for, for example, in that major research grant or as part of this research team can be the difference between the getting a tenure track position and leaving academia in its entirety. We all have a choice as to whom we mentor. It, it is a choice. Um, that we all have. We have a choice as to whom we pour ourselves into, our expertise, the guidance that we can provide. Uh, but what the tri agencies uh, have done and what uh, many, many universities, including the U of A, have done is to insist on a broader and much more diverse uh, uh, collection of, 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 of teams uh, and team members so that um, we're spreading these opportunities because in the end, it is about an opportunity. We are ensuring that our impact is as high as possible and is as lasting as possible. And the most diverse voices from the very beginning, building the research, building the work, thinking about the labor, will ensure that our impact is sustainable, is meaningful, and will um, will truly transform people's lives, whether it's the undergraduate student in the classroom or it is provincial, national, of international standing.